So in example five, it says determine the total mass of an original 56.0 milligram sample of um, P32 that remains unchanged after 57.12 days, right? So what we're trying to find the answer is the total mass that remains, right? So the mass column must obviously carry our answer because our answer will be in the units of mass. Now, the, what changes here obviously would be time because you have to get to 57.12 days to get to the answer. So therefore, our time column in step one would be our change, all right? Now, for uh, step one, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you label the time zero since no time has passed, the fraction um, one since nothing has decayed, and the mass, the original, which is 56.0 milligrams, since that's what we start off with. So now we have to increase, for each half-life, we have to increase the time by the amount of time required for one half-life of P32. Uh, and I have to also increase the, fra uh, sorry, yeah, and I have to um, increase the time. The fraction and mass, however, I have to divide by two each time for each half-life, right? So if I look up the half-life of P32, I'll find that it's 14.28 days on table N. So that's the half-life for P32. Now, uh, let's go through the half-lives until we reach a time of 57.12 days. So for the first half-life, I let 14.28 days pass since only one half-life has passed. All right, what I have to do with the fraction is I have to halve it since one half-life has passed, so half of one is half. And I have to also have the mass since only one half-life has passed, so half of 56 is 28.0 milligrams, okay? Then, if yet another half-life passes, what I have to do is I have to add on another 14.28 days to the time since another half-life of P32 passes, which will give me 28.56 days. I also have to have the fraction and the mass if another half-life passes. So if, if I have the, the uh, previous fraction half, I get one-fourth, and if I have this mass in this uh, next half-life, I get 28 divided by 2, or 14.0 milligrams, okay? If I let yet another half-life pass, another 14.28 days passes, giving me um, 42.84 days. I have to also, since yet another half-life pass, I have to divide the fraction and mass by half. So if I do half of one-fourth, I get one-eighth. And if I do half of 14, I get 7.0 milligrams. I have to let yet another half-life pass, which means another 14.28 days. So if I had 14.28 days to this, I now all of a sudden get the time I desire, which is 57.12 days, okay? The fraction, since another half-life has passed, I have to have it again, give me 1 16th. I have to have this again, since another half-life has passed, give me 3.5 milligrams. So now that I've reached the change I've desired of 57.12 days, I now have to look in the mass column to find the answer. The mass that remains after 57.12 days is 3.5 milligrams. So that's your answer there, okay?